Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Hey guys, I am here at Dockside Inn, uh, part of the Endless Summer Resort with Universal. My husband surprised me this weekend, last weekend, with um, an anniversary trip to Universal. Universal's one of my happy places. I also like to go to Disney but Universal is definitely right up there. I love the rides, I love the wizarding world. It was great. So it was a last minute impromptu trip. I'm so excited. So while I'm here, um, I'm here with my husband and my husband is not quite theme park ready as I am. So, I have had to spend a little bit of downtime in addition to my park time because he just can't handle being in the parks that much. But in doing so, guess what? I got to visit some Dollar Trees out here in, Univer in Orlando. So I'm really excited about that. I found some things I didn't have at home. And in doing that, I decided to give you a suggestion for either your own person, uh, if you are going on a trip this summer, some necessities from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's great for travel items. They're wonderful. Even the little mini things that you buy like at Walmart or the grocery store, the travel size, they've gotten so expensive. They're like three dollars a bottle for different things and it's it's insane two to three dollars let's say so anyway here are some wonderful things that you can put together as a gift for somebody you know that might be traveling or for your own benefit now these are items to make you more comfortable to make you a little happier um my mindset is theme park so high energy, um, exhausted, hot, getting rained on, that's, that's my motivation. So some of these I'm going to put up as photos after I name them. And they are, the photos are from Dollar Tree and they're actually from the Dollar Tree. All except one are from the Dollar Tree out here in Orlando. Some of them I have on my person. Some of them I purchased when we took our little excursion to Dollar Tree because I saw some things that were needed. So let's start with your traditional flip-flops. All right, now if, if you're giving this as a gift, of course you'd have to know the size, but flip-flops come in handy for anything, whether it be if you're camping, and you're taking a shower, you don't want to step in that camp shower to back and forth in a hotel room is like a pair of slippers. They're small, they fit into your suitcase easily, back and forth to the pool. Um, I'm not a person that could wear cheap flip-flops to a theme park. They would have to be something I have prepared myself for. Um, but, you know, for getting around, I have always, I have repeatedly run into a Dollar Tree and grabbed some inexpensive flip-flops. So, flip-flops. Um, my second thing is chapstick. Yep, yep, yep. They have a lot of varieties at Dollar Tree. Um, they have single, they have triple packs. I think the picture I took was a single pack, but I did see a triple pack. Chapstick's great if it's cold, if it's windy, if it's hot. Um, lips have a tendency to chap, so chapstick. Chapstick can also be used on other things that might be a little chafed or sore, depending on what the area is. That's up to you, I leave that to you. But it's a great addition to a gift pack to give somebody. All right, now what I had said in the beginning is travel size things. Dollar Tree, you're paying $1.25. I swear I looked at the drugstore by my house. I, I was looking for like gold bond powder because I like to use that in areas that might get hot and chafed. 
um, to prevent the hot and chafe. Um, so I was looking for that and I think the cheapest I found was like 250 somewhere, but I ended up saying never mind and then ended up having it at home and didn't need to buy it anyway. But travel size, travel size conditioners. Travel size soap. Travel size shaving paraphernalia. Travel size deodorants. Travel size toothpaste. I always save my toothpaste from the dentist visit twice a year, and that usually covers my travels. Um, but if you don't have that, there you go. Um, most of the, like if I go to a Disney hotel, I really like the shampoo, the soap, the conditioner, um, and the hand cream that they have there. And so I'm very prepared. But I'm here at Universal Hotels and I'm finding, well, they have the bar soap, so you don't have a liquid soap. And I didn't bring soap, but I'm okay with the bar soap. No hand cream. I did have some that I had gotten at Dollar Tree that's in my bag, so I'm okay. Um, and they do have shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used it yet, but I will use it tonight because it's looking pretty bad here. So, so yeah, so your travel size of those things, nice to put in a gift basket to give to somebody. All right, so now let's talk about travel and what comes with travel and high energy and heat, aches and pains. Aches and pains. All right, so one of the things, and I, I, I brought Biofreeze, but I also swear by this stuff, this Dollar Tree Muscle Rub. It is a menthol. And so it does have a menthol smell. It does not have a, not a bad smell. Ooh, it's clear. There you go. And it's, it's a pain reliever. Now I'm trying to, the reason I had got another one of these is my husband is in a lot of pain right now. My husband's not very mobile. Like he doesn't move and he planned this wonderful trip on the spur of the moment, and now his feet hurt, his knees hurt, his calves hurt, his back hurts, and he won't use my Biofreeze. So I did convince him to use this, and he will get a foot rub and a back rub if he lets me try this to see if that will help him feel better. Um, because it is kind of impeding our trip a little bit. We have to come back to the hotel earlier. I have to walk slower, mm. but muscle rub. All right, now Dollar Tree also has an assortment of pain patches that would be great for aches and pains and wouldn't cost a fortune. So make sure maybe you check into having a few of those with you. With heat and clothes and rubbing comes chafing and blisters. And so I always have Band-Aids and these are actually my Dollar Tree Band-Aids from home, but I bought a box and then took a bunch. I put them in a Ziploc bag, but that would be a great addition to somebody's um, you know, package. The other thing is maybe some things to relax other than pain relieving when you get back. Now, a lot of hotels have showers now. They don't have tubs anymore. So I did buy these um, lavender shower fizzes because I'm literally gonna put that in our shower and I'm taking my shower in a few minutes after this video and I was kind of hoping to get some relaxing done. All right, so another thing is heat and movement and sweating. Maybe some nice little citrus or hair. This says hair and body mist. They had two. They had a citrus and they had something else which I liked better, but then after I had sprayed it on me and after I sprayed, oops, sorry, that is the sprayer. 
after I sprayed it on me and I smelled it for a while, it got a little too much. And so I went back and I grabbed the citrus instead. But this would be great inside of a gift bag or your own personal bag. The other thing that would be really good is a travel size of these Purell wipes. I also will get diaper wipes and I try and get the aloe, but thin, look, it's really thin. It's gonna go in my bag. It's great for some cleaning up and it's great for some cooling down. So some wipes, that would be a great addition to a bag. The other thing that would be wonderful as a gift and even for yourself are these under eye massagers. So the one that they had at this Dollar Tree has the metal ball and you just, you ice it and then you rub it and it helps with some of the swelling from, you know, your day of excursion. But there's also a jade roller and it does basically the same thing. You cool it down and you run it over these swollen areas carefully and it helps refresh. And there are also these gel, they didn't have them at this Dollar Tree, but these gel eye masks that just fit around your eye, kind of like the whole cucumber looking thing, but this, and it has a hole in the middle so you can open your eyes, but it'll fit around the whole eye. I would I would give like mm, my, my pinky toe for one of those right now, but I couldn't find one. All right, so another thing that's really, that would be really great in a bag that you're giving to somebody, are some snacks. Now, we all know that Dollar Tree has a wonderful double snack aisle. You have all your candies on one side, you have all your salties on the other side, and they have some staples that are there all the time, and then they have some um, variations that come and go. But depending on who you're getting this for, if it would be for yourself or for somebody else, what would they enjoy? So maybe a couple of of sweets and a couple of salties would be a wonderful combination. All right, so this was another thing. Oh, I pick these up all the time when I go to Dollar Tree. Um, these are the Dollar Tree sunglasses. And I just knocked the lens out. Well, I'll have to show it to you. I'll show it to you without the lens. So, oh, those are really big. But I have a tendency to lose sunglasses. Hold on, I'm going to get my lens. There we go. I have a, 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 I lose them, I scratch them. So a lot of, unless it's glasses that I have purchased for running, they usually come from Dollar Tree. Okay, the lens is not all the way back in, but there you go, and they are polarized. And I could see, I always look through them, make sure I can see sharply, and they look pretty good. So my other ones were fine, but they were getting too loose on top of my head. And I do wear them on top of my head, especially at the theme park. So, okay, I'm gonna have to get this back in there. This is why I don't buy expensive ones. I can't handle it. I had asked my kids for a pair of Ray-Ban, and my daughter very politely said, no, no, you're not getting them because you can't keep track of your sunglasses. So, so Dollar Tree it is. All right, um, this other thing I saw is a citronella bracelet. And so it looks like, you know, these curly ponytail, the, the loopy ones, and it's supposed to be citronella. I have never tried them. If you've tried them and you know if they work, put a comment please in the, in the uh, comments below. Um, that would be great if you're going to like the beach or someplace where there might be an issue with mosquitoes. So, and here is the coup de gras. And believe it or not, I did not get them when I was home. And I specifically went to Dollar Tree looking for them and it's their rain ponchos. Dollar Tree sells rain ponchos. These are the best value for putting in your suitcase. The first day we were here yesterday, we went to the parks late because we got in late and it's 
before we could get to the bus, it stormed, soaking wet. And of course, the the umbrellas, which is what I like to use at a park, was back at the car at the uh, hotel because it did not show that it was supposed to rain on my app. And um, I don't have any ponchos, so I was looking for ponchos because the next three days are slated for rain. Can't find the ponchos. I might have to visit another Dollar Tree. I don't know if I can get my husband to walk to the car again. I'm not sure. All right. All right, and then the last thing is something to put all that stuff in. Now, you know, I brought a backpack today to the park, and that's nice, but it's cumbersome. Something like this that I can wear crossbody after I've loosened it um, would be so much more convenient, yet it's still big enough. I can even still get... A, um, an umbrella in there if I really wanted to, or I could carabiner a couple of things to it. The other reason I bought this for is because we got caught in the rain yesterday. So now my crossbody purse, which I really can't get anything in except for money and cards, got soaking wet. This is made out of a nylon. So I thought at the very least, it might keep my stuff reasonably dry. We'll see, but you could put all of your stuff in one of these bags or in a similar bag and then, and it would make a great gift. Wouldn't that be cute? They had a leopard print, they had butterflies, they have some really cute, cute designs. And the thing is, if this rips or this falls apart, you throw it away. Even the stuff inside of it, throw it away. And then you don't have to cart it back home use it up and then throw it away. All right, guys, that's it for today. I will be back to crafting, I promise you, um, but it probably won't be till next week because I am in Universal this week. So you might see this video before I get home and I do have, I think, one more video to play to record while I'm here in the afternoons and my husband's recuperating. I sent him out down the hall while I recorded because he would chime in. So um, if you have anything that you like to get that you have to bring with you when you go either to a theme park or on vacation, put it in the comments below. It doesn't have to be Dollar Tree. Just what is your go-to? What is your secret? I mean, if I had to say anything, my biggest secret is the Band-Aids. Do you know how many Band-Aids I have given out in the parks to other people? And I needed them this time. So what is your go-to? What do you absolutely need? And then the other thing is, um, is there a Dollar Tree item like the poncho that is like your golden um, find when you see them in the store? Put that in the comments too below because I'd love to be able to look in my Dollar Trees and see if they have that too and try them out. All right. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you for coming back and listening to me prattle on and if you're new thank you for finding me and welcome welcome back or oh, welcome here all right so if you're new to the channel and you're not a subscriber think about giving us think about subscribing to our channel um hitting that subscribe button and you could also hit the notification bell if you want to know when we're set putting out more videos and share with friends if this is something that your friends may like usually we're crafting but we're also Dollar Tree hauling. That is a big part of what I do. It's my favorite store. And if you're already a subscriber, and even if you're not, think about giving the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for being with me today. And I will be back in New Orleans pretty soon, crafting away. Um, I was redoing my craft room. It's still not finished, but if I have to, I'm going to start crafting in the dining room until I get my craft room finished. All right. I'll see y'all later. Have a wonderful week. Bye.